Christ. I'm very happy to see everybody in the house of the Lord tonight. Yeah. And fuck if you can't see dry, dry, dry on, why for you pursue it, lunch here after you. Good to the wakkele, welcome to the house of the Lord. And I'm going to ask Emmanuel, would you please come and open for us in prayer? And just as he's coming to the front, it's, as I stood up here, that, that the Heere is in my heart place, and the Heere says, Say, Father, you know, it's now in this van God. But I get us on so verbond aan die vlees, dat ons dinge net sien in die vlees, maar dat ons bykie oplet op die gees, dan is dit een hele ander prentie. Mag warm wees vanavond, maar mag mag misschien on... I'm wearing a three-piece suit. You can ask me about warm, it's warm tonight. But forget about the warm. Ons is nou by die skatkamers van die Heere. En as ons in die gees sien, is ons nou nabij aan God. En ons kan ietsie ontvang vanavond, as ons ons instel met wat God wil doen. Amen. So, so dink nou aan vanavond, terwijl ons hier een prijs. Ons is nou in die skatkamers van God. Thank you. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the beautiful evening that we have to can come and meet in your house. We sing a song right now, Jesus, that says, the Heere gesê, ons moet hier wat. My prayer is that God will help us, that we don't just wait in idle, but we'll wait in anticipation of praising you and serving you knowing that you are coming very soon, my God. We pray this evening that, Father, Lord, you will open the service. We pray for the Holy Spirit to come and visit us, my God. We expect the Holy Spirit, my God, but we welcome you in this place, my God. We pray that, Lord Jesus, the Spirit of the Holy Spirit can move gently in our midst, my God, to touch each and every one of us, my God. I believe everyone that is here this evening, they came with an expectation, my God, and my prayer is that, you will meet each and every one's expectation this evening. If you are sick, you will heal. Those who are weak, you will strengthen them. We pray that Lord Jesus will bless the service and we bring you, Lord, in Jesus' name, your presence in this place. Come and do your willingness in our presence, my God. We ask this in your name and your name alone. Amen. I'll say, no, was like a song singing off in your I found a new way of living. I found a new way of living
geht altijd in elkaar, altijd sê ons wat hier jylle, op ons dag hier, 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 ek het daarvoor gebid, een dag, wanneer die dier is in tyd is, en ek geskyf hoort, ek sê hier, as het lief, ek soek het om kies, en voorstaan is, en ek sê dat, as het lief, maar, ja, ek wil nie sonder hulle wees, en waar jy dan, it's good to be in the house of the Lord this evening, isn't it? Yeah, it's good to be in God's house. And uh, I thank the Lord that I can be here this evening. And I thank the Lord that all of you are here this evening. Amen. Because blij maar te sien in die spring hier. Amen. Jylle mag vanavond, jy, nie jylle, jy mag vanavond, saam met my amen sê, en uh, help my om te preek vanavond, as dit blijf. Ek preek beter as jylle saam met my preek. En my kies drink in jou Bibles, we gaan in die boek op Luke, Luke chapter 12, I'm going to be reading from verse 35 down to verse 44, but I want to look at verses 42 to verse 44, but the whole book that we're going to read is, is Luke chapter 12, verses 35 down to verses 44. Ek voel die bevestiging van die woord vanavond, want as ek rondkijk sien ek is, is ons gemeente leren wat hier so sit vanavond vir ons, ons het nie besoekers of enig iemand wat die eerste keer by ons kerk aankomt vanavond, so ek voel dit die bevestiging van die woord, so die boek van Lukas, die twelfde hoofstuk vanaf vers 35 tot en met vers 44, en my lees hoe dit sê as volgens, let your waist be girded and your lamps burning, this is Jesus speaking, and you yourselves be like men who wait for their master when he will return from the wedding, that when he comes and knocks, they may open up to him immediately. Verse 37, Blessed are those servants whom the master, when he comes, will find watching. In other words, waiting and prepared, ready. Assuredly, I say to you that he will gird himself and have them sit down to eat, and he will come and serve them. And if he should come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, that's the time between 9 p.m. and 3 a.m., it's the time when people are sleeping, and find them so doing, in other words, find them watching and waiting for him. Blessed are those servants. Just want to add there, I feel that in the day and age we're living now, we're living between those times, the second and third watches, just before the dawn, just before Jesus comes back again. Amen? And it's a time that people fall asleep. Verse 39, But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour that you do not expect. I want to jump to verse 42. Jesus continues and says, Who then is that faithful and wise steward? A steward is a person who is put in charge over a house. Whom his master will make ruler over his household, to give him their portion of food in due season. Blessed is that servant whom his master will find doing so when he comes. Verse 44, the last verse that I'm going to read. Truly I say to you that he will make him ruler over all that he has. Amen. He'll make him ruler over all that he has. I'm going to read verse 42 and 43 again. Who then is that faithful and wise servant, steward, person that's put in charge, whom his master will make ruler over his house, to give them their portion of food in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his master will find so doing when he comes. En my net so ver in die skrif gedeelte. Dis hier nie, I want to talk to you about this house. Hierdie huis. Nie een ander huis nie. Ek heb nie man nie te follow me van kant daar. Hierdie huis. Ek wil nie praat van een ander huis van ons nie, ek wil praat van hierdie huis. En Pastor Donnie spoke about it a few Wednesdays ago, and it sat with me, and God brought it back to me, and God gave me these scriptures. But if we look at the scripture, we see that Jesus is saying something. Jesus is saying that He has appointed servants, He has appointed men to be stewards, a steward is a man that watches over the possessions of somebody else. That makes sure that everything that has been entrusted to him is cared for and looked after so that his master is honored and so that he can get glory so that when his master comes back, everything that the master has entrusted to him, he can say, here it is, I've looked after it. I've done well. And when I read that scripture, especially verse 42 and 43, I see something. I see that that Jesus is speaking and saying, blessed is that one, that when the master comes again, will find the one that is appointed over his household, so do he. In other words, looking after the house to which he belongs. 
making sure that the people in the house to which he belongs are fed and looked after and cared for. So Jesus is saying, blessed is that one who will do the work of the house that he's been placed in. And this is what we are going to say, we are going to pray for this and about this work now. Pastor Dani had said, I am now Pastor Dani Baya, om rede Pastor Dani is my pastor. Ek is een pastoor in die kerk, maar Pastor Dani is my pastoor. Wat Pastor Dani sê, weer klink by my baie, baie keer. Ek hou, ek herkou aan het, en ek dink daar ook. En Pastor Dani sê, dat een vlieg val in, maar die Heere voeg by. Is dit nie so nie? And this evening, I want you to know, jy het nie ingeval nie, want jy is nie een vlieg nie. En God het nie hier so bijgevoeg in hierdie huis. This church, this Horizon gesin gemeente was jy bijgevoeg vir een rede. God puts you here under the bediening of Pastor Dani, under the leadership that is here. But God also placed you in this house and in this church and in this gemeente for a reason. And you and I must become involved with this house. We must become involved with this gemeente. I think it's a scandal. A lot of times we come in and Hey, Pastor Dani must do the bit back. Pastor Dani must stand up and preach. Before some in music and or, or orchestra, we see that the hell with us in this all the sun. They must do. We come in having delivered no effort to this house. We sit down. No much in my room. Come, Pastor Kim, no much in my room. Come, Shaw, poor some, no much in my room. I got all this all the food. Come. But what have you done? What have I done? concerning this house. What have I done about the house that God has added me to? It's not a fruit, it's not a fruit. You don't have to be a fruit, but a fruit. I'm part of this household. Don't answer tonight, and there are a few questions I'm going to be asking. The first question I'm going to ask is this, when last have you prayed for this community? When last? When last did you say, you know, you need something to do. By a rise of Christian community. Here, we have the outstorting of the Geest, not on Sunday morning. Lord, we have something to do on Sunday morning. We have to be able to move from the Geest. We have something to do in the church. And Lord, we know that we can't do it, but we are looking for our house, where we are in our house. When was the last time you prayed for this house? When was the last time you said, Lord, bless me with this preacher? When last have you said, Lord, Lord, bless Pastor Adani with his preaching. Lord, give him a word for Sunday morning. He said, he word is as a two snipe in the spark, dear. Let he word out Pastor Adani's mouth come and dear. Drive kracht van the Holy Spirit Sunday morning, so as a two snipe in the spark, dear. Lord, when he preaches, let your love come down into this place. Lord, give Pastor Adani a word from the Himmel. Soft, Pastor Adani. When last have you prayed like that? I want to take it more, I want to take it deeper. When last, while Pastor Adani was preaching, were you so concerned about this house that you were praying for Pastor Adani while he was preaching? I want to ask, when last have you prayed for me while I'm preaching? <laughs> when last, while the service was busy, were you praying and saying, Heere, terwyl hierdie woord uitgaan, ga nie kyk terug nie, maar ek weet as mense sê wat besoek van ochend. Heere, ek weet as mense wat jy nie ken, soos hy my op die plek nou gebring het, en ek ken nie, ek ken nie dier die genade, ek ken nie dier die bloed, ek ken nie dier die geest, ek ken nie vanavond, maar ek weet as mense wat jy nie ken vanavond, of van ochend in die kerk. When last, while the service was busy, were you praying, Lord, save souls in this church. Lord, was the dawn is given uit moedig, en Heere, spreek met hulle harte. And now it's difficult that I'm asking this, but this is the house that you have been added to. And it's so easy for us to say, ach, it was not so good the dienst van of it was not so gesond. But we have said what we don't do, we bring the fear of the house. Amen. And God uses people. And if God has added you to this church and you haven't fallen into this church, God has added you to this church for a reason. First, He wants to bring you to Himself and secondly, He wants to use you for Himself. He wants to use you for Himself because when God wanted to do something, He said, I sought for a man to stand in the gap. I sought for a man, and when God says man, he means mankind. The dames is in this life. I sought for, and I have for anyone to look in the breast to stand. When God made a covenant, he made a covenant with a man. When God was appointing his people, he said, I'll make you the father of a nation. God came to Abraham to establish 
his fork. When God was going to bring his fork out of balance cup, out of, out of slavery, what did he look for? He looked for a man. He went and found Moses. When God wants to send the prophet and send his word into a city that's fallen, what did he do? He sends a man into the city. And God wants to make us be living coals of fire. And when you feel funny, I suffer. But there's got to be a fire that burns inside of me about this house. There have been Sunday mornings that I've been in this church and it has felt like the Heilige Geest walk it and the kerk gehang and it the Heilige Geest is so sacht is near gedreen. So it was a sacht reen. And my heart is about this church. You get it? Ons soek het weer. Ons soek die deurwerking van die Heilige Geest weer. Ons soek die kracht van die Heilige Geest weer, jy. Jy, ek weet, jy sê in die ander kerk en die ander genootskap en ek bid daarvoor. Ek weet dat hier is nie die enigste kerk waar jy geest beweeg. I know this is not the only place where you come and meet with your children, but Lord, this is my house and I'm concerned with this house. I pray for other, those, those other churches, but Lord, I'm concerned with this house. You know what it needs to be like for us? Let me testify. I, 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 I was talking to God about it. I said, Jere, maar, hoe kom die, hoe kom die? En ek praat met die Jere so. And getting close to the house on the way back home, God started to turn my little finger to me. And God said, die geest is nie geuit, uitgestort en, 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 en ek kan nie deurwerk nie, omdat jy nie in die rechte plek is. And yeah. God began to speak to me. God says, you're not seeking me to move in the services. You're not praying for Wednesdays. You're not praying. And when I got past the church here, my heart broke as I was pulling into the drive and I said, ja, hier is ek. Ek gee nie om oor die huis waarin jy my geplaas het nie. Ek is so bezig met die, ek is bezig met die, ek is bezig met ander dinge, en dit is waar, ons raak bezig in die lewe. But it's got to come to the place that, wanneer ons die draai maak in die week, so vrijdagse kant moet my hart al reeds bezig wees die heren, sondag. Sondag is om die draai, heren, sondag ochend is om die draai, sondag aand is om die draai, sondag ochend is om die draai, heren, jy moet iets doen, heren, sondag ochend. Heren, ons, ons wil dier die drif kom, heren. It takes every single one of us to take the wall dier die drif. And a lot of times we feel it's just the pastoor. Nee, die pastoor is die gesalfte. Waar in die Bijbel sê dit dat die pastoor die enigste een is wat die gesalfte is? As die my een skrif kan wees, trek ek my woorde terug. There is no scripture in this Bible that says this net die vijfvoudige bediening. It's just the, the, the apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, the pastor and the teacher that's anointed. It's not. As jy een kind van die Heere is, is jy gesalfte die Heilige Geest wat binnen in jou lewe dan is jy een gesalfte van die Heere. Amen. Dan wanneer jy in die stroom van die Heilige Geest kom, al reeds in jou week, en sê, Heere, jy moet hier werk op woensdag. There were Wednesdays dat ons weggetrek was in Koordans. Op een woensdag. Dat was woensdag dat die Heilige Geest so hier ingedaal het. En, en die teestvoerigheid van God, ek onthoud een keer, die, dit het vir my gevoel in my geest, die Heilige Geest so van die kant van die kerk omgekom. And I'm praying here, I'm saying, Lord, meet with us on Wednesdays again. Because my heart is towards this church. My heart is towards this house. Because I want God to do something here. Die waar is wie van u wil hee dat die vier van die Heilige Geest in die kerk moet gaan? Amen. Who wants the Holy Spirit to come into this church in power? Yes. Amen. Dat ons weer mense sien weer voor God. Yes. Hulle word nie eens uitgeroep aan, a, na, om, om, om voor hem toe te kom nie, maar aan die banken begin hulle snik en heil en weer. A mens kan het nie doen, nie vraag vir pastoor daar nie, hy kan nie so mooi preek dat dit gebeur nie. Dit is onmoendlik, is die heilige geest wat dit doen. Amen. En ek soek dit in hierdie huis. Ek, ek weet dit gebeur in ander huise, maar my hart is gericht tot hierdie huis. Want tot die dag dat die Heere my skuif of huis toe neem, is my hart aan hierdie huis gericht. Amen. Because God is my as promises in this house. Yes, amen. In this house. God spoke to me this morning. And he prays for me and God said, we mustn't forget his promises about this house. Yeah. We mustn't forget that God promised. God said certain things, and when I've heard them, they've stuck in my heart. And I, I hope it. I'd like to repeat it, because I want to remind you about what God has said. The Heer has said, a licht gaan opgaan. Van die hoek van kat in die bed. A licht. What's a licht? Is it a mense licht? A mense verboer? Nee, is die licht van die Heilige Geest. God gaan iets hier, iets hier in die kerk doen, laat a licht opgaan. Amen. God het beloof dat ons hier gaan groot wees. Amen. Wanneer laas het jy vir die jeug gebid? Wanneer laas het jy vir die jeug leier gebid? Vrys die Heere, hy het gevra van of het is een nederige man dat op gaan staan voor die gemeente sê, bid vir die jeug as een brief en graag. Want hy weet, hy kan het nie alleen doen nie, hy het die gebede van die gemeente nodig. Amen. Pas nou daar nie het die gebede nodig, ek het die gebede nodig. 
Maar als we ons staan samen als een man, dan is het daar vier koelen wat samenkomt. En als vier koelen samenkomt, wat gebeurt? Wie dan een braai gemaakt en hij is warm? Die koelen is niet zwart, niet alles nou rooi. Maar op so saam gepak en jy sien die vier kom van hulle af. Heb jy sien dit bevolk? Ja, amen. There is no blackness on that, it's called that glowing red and there's a fire coming off of that thing. You don't want to put your hand anywhere near that bride. That's what it's like when we start to get together as one man. It was 120 people in the upper room. And because 120 people got in one mind, in one accord, in one heart with what God wanted to do. The Holy Spirit was poured out on 120 people and when Peter preached, how many people came to salvation? 3,000. 3,000 came to repentance because 120 got into one heart and one accord and one mind. Amen. 120 equals 3,000. So let's say 50 of us equals how many? 50 of us at least, at least equal 900. What happens when this church runs over with 900 people? That's uh, the claim. What happens when 100 of us start to get together? Just 100 of us in this church start to, on Friday, start to say, Lord, we need your presence. Lord, we need you Sunday morning. Lord, I'm not content that people come into this house and go out of this house the same way that they came in. Da moet verlos in plaas bid. Da moet bevrijd in plaas bid. Jy moet dier die Heilige Geest in hulle harte in vraag. I'm not saying it's not happening, because what we see with the eyes is not is not what God's doing in the heart. God's doing something in this church already. Moet my nie misgis vanavond, moet die Heeres bees wat ons te doen. Maar as ons saam gaan staan, Saam gaan staan, is God gonna, God's going to do a lot more than we ever imagined possible. Yes, amen. I mean, I'm not going to preach long tonight, I want to mention another scripture. Yes, it's written in the book of 1 Kings. It's a very well-known scripture. It's about when Elijah goes and stands on Mount Carmel. And he's standing against the Baal priestess. Because the whole nation had the grond gegaan. They've given up on serving God, they're following Baal, they've got high places where they're offering incenses, they're serving idols, they're serving false gods. And Elijah brings all the people to Mount Carmel, And all the Baal priestess come there as well. And he says to them, you take the bull and I'll take the bull. And he says, the God that answers by fire is God. Amen. You know why Elijah did that? He was concerned about the house that God had placed him into. Yeah. Um, Elijah wasn't busy with another folk. He was busy with what he was ingeplaasd. He was a youth. He was ingeplaasd and ingeent and die for me. And when God sent him to Mount Carmel, he was busy with the house that God placed him in. He was, he was bekommerd oor die huis. The die huis God bezig was om te verloor. The die huis bezig was om weg te beweeg van God. En alle goede te dien. And listen to what it says here. 1 Kings chapter 18 verses 30 down to verses 39. We're going to read it. Then Elijah said to all the people, come near to me. So all the people came near to him. This is after the Baal prophets were jumping around, cutting themselves and nothing happened. There was no fire. And he prepared the altar of the Lord that was broken down. And Elijah took twelve stones according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, whom the word of the Lord had come, saying, Israel shall be your name. Then with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord and made a trench he dug around the altar, large enough to hold two sihas of water. And he put the wood in order, cut the bull in pieces, and laid it on the wood. And said, fill four water pots full of water and pour the burnt, pour, pour on the burnt sacrifice or pour it on the burnt sacrifice and on the wood. And he said, do it a second time. I'm going to jump. And he said, do it a third time. Verse 35. So the water ran all around the altar and it was filled and the trench was filled with water. And it came to pass at the time of the evening sacrifice of the, the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known this day that you are the God of Israel, and I am your servant, and that you have done all the things, and I have done all these things according to your word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that these people might know that you are the Lord God, and that you have turned their hearts back to you again. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice and the wood, and the stones, and the dust, and licked up the water that was in the trench. Amen. This evening I said, ons moet bid dat die vier van God moet val. We want God to do something in this church. Dat die Heere, uh, gaat in die meer skop, as ons daar gesê gaan gebruik. We want God to do something. That means me, which means you and me, not just me, you and me, 
must get involved in this house that God's placed us. And we must begin asking, Lord, let your fire fall. And when I see Elijah on Mount Carmel, I see a man involved with God's people and God's house that he's placed in him. But when I see Elijah do the offer, I see certain things. I see that he makes the altar of God again that was broken down and he uses the stones. I see that he places the offer on top of the altar. I see that he digs a trench around the altar. I see that he wets the altar and the wood and the offer with water. And the fifth thing I see that he do is he prays up to God. And he asks God to have the fire for him. And when I see that, I look at certain things and I see it clearly tonight. The first thing that Elijah did, and when God spoke to me about it, I, I think God was saying that we as a church must begin to do this if we want the fire to fall. If we want God to move in our presence. Also with Adam stuff work with Hiri Heisma, also with the part that he is doing. And the first thing that I see he does is he builds the altar. And not his own altar, not a new altar, he rebuilds the altar of the Lord that was already there. And he takes the 12 stones, which are the 12 tribes of Israel. And when I think of stone, I think of the foundation. And the Bible says there's no other foundation laid except that which is laid in Christ Jesus. And when we rebuild the altar, it's not our altar, it's the altar of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ that has existed before the foundations of the earth. Because before the earth was formed, Jesus was crucified in heaven. There's no other foundation. So if we want people to get on fire, and we want God to do something in this church, we cannot build on anything else except the Evangelii van the Heer Jesus. We bow, we bow before those stones and we build on the foundation of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we must be busy with nothing else except the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the foundation. For this reason came Jesus into the world to save sinners. This is why Jesus came to save that which is lost and break the works of the devil. That's what this house is about. This house mustn't be about anything else but about the gospel. Jesus Christ has came to save the lost. His blood was shed that you and I can be saved. We rebuild that altar again in our hearts. Because it's built in Christ. It can't be broken down. It can't be ever stand. But in our hearts it will be that altar. The altar of the Evangelium. And we will be able to build it. This is the reason that I know. Want die evangelie sê, sê die bloed van die Seen van God was gestoord, dat ek gereed mag word. En ek herbou het in my hart. En dis wat hier die kerk oorstaan, die evangelie. Jesus wants to save. Jesus wants to love. Jesus wants to deliver. Jesus wants to lose. As Jesus did it for me, now I pray, Lord, do it for others in this church. Die evangelie, die evangelie, die evangelie. En hy bou die altar, en ek sê die altar is die evangelie. And then I see that he puts the offer on the altar. Die vier val nie op een leer altar. Ek het het gesê, ek gaan het weer sê. The fire doesn't fall on an empty altar. We have the evangelie. En ons spreek van die evangelie. Maar ook ons met ons levens opoffer. I surrender all, Lord. I put my all upon the altar. That's all we can do. Lord, I put my all upon the altar. And I wait for the fire to fall. Lord, this is me. I put it here. Lord, Lord, save souls. Lord, help young people. You saved me, but now... Now I'm going to put my life on the altar. Lord, my sleeping time. Maybe I don't go to bed on Friday night. Maybe I pray through. But here I will see you today. This is my offer. I fast in the week. But here I will do something. Sunday morning. I place my offer. Place my offer on the altar. My time, my effort, my prayers, my concentration. You know, it's a difficult thing when your family maybe needs prayer. And you stop praying for them because you say, Lord, Sunday morning. You've got to save young people. But the fire will let them push on each other again. But in that case, there must be a fire of each other. Because in that case, you must recognize that each other, but how can they recognize that each other as they are not in contact with the enemy? And how can they recognize that each other as they are not in contact with the enemy? As we are not in the right place, 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 as we are not in the right place. But if they come into this church, God's brought them here. And if there's an offer on the altar, the fire will fall. I see another thing that he does. He digs around the trench. I think of that tree that wasn't producing fruit. And Jesus says, wait, let me dig around the tree. Sometimes we've got to dig a bit. We've got to dig around the altar of our life. We've got to dig around and say, where's our steen? The steen van the sisma. Where's the Where's the stone? Stone, but maybe the person doesn't look like our. Our community is blessed. Work, 
Ons lyk mooi, ons trek mooi aan. Maar ek kan nie een klik by my alta rees, en man nie instap, en nie so mooi lyk nie. Misschien is hy feil, en ek weet nie, hy is feil van die werk, en nou, nou is al klik by my alta. Misschien met ek een bykie bykie rond om my alta graal, en die dinge uithaal. Sometimes it takes digging. Digging in prayer, when you go into your winner calmer. Prayer is hard work, like Pastor Dani says, but sometimes we've got to dig, and you've got to keep digging, and you've got to keep digging by your altar, your evangelistic altar, my offers geplaas, but now grave ek, Heere, Heere red siele, and ek hou nie op nie, Heere red siele, Heere doen iets in die kerk, Heere red siele, red siele, red siele, ek grave, Heere, ek grave diep, a pastoor preached it in this gemeente, and said, jy moet grave om jou water put te vind, betek jy, ons moet grave om jou heilige geest te vind, betek jy, because God, God's not going to give us something like this. Some things that come light, we never, we never accept them anyway. We don't, we don't treat them well. And, and the things of God are very kostbaar. You can't even lucht it. You can take it to grave on that diamant of the dear work of the Holy Spirit to find in our spirit. Then I see He takes water and He pours it on the offer and He pours it on the wood and He pours it on the altar and it runs into the trench. And when I see that, you know what I think of the Bible says, it's them that sow with tears that will come in and carry the seeds with joy. I want to ask my second question. It's actually two parts. God wants to add it. First, I don't know where it's for, but why have you stopped crying for the souls of your family who don't serve God? You've cried for them in the past, but you stopped crying recently. God's asking why have you stopped crying. But now I want to ask, when last did we cry? When you last did you get healed? I can't on any other way say it. When you last did you get healed? Or you can see in your own heart oor die kondisie in die kerk, oor ons gemeente, en oor verloore siele. When last did you cry? When last did you weep before God? Because the fountain of your tears must be broken, because it's connected to your heart, and if there's nothing coming out of your heart, in your, your eyes, I believe your heart hasn't been moved. My heart's moved because I don't want people to go to hell. My heart's moved because if God has done it for me, why can't He do it for another? Yeah, amen. I'm not saying I cry all the time, I'm, I don't cry all the time, but there are times I cry before God for the lost. And Elijah pours water on the offer and he pours it on the altar and it goes into that trench. And I think sometimes we've had dry eyes for too long. The gospel is there, ons moet om herbou, ons moet ons offer van ons lewe, ons offer op vir Christus, wat mense gered kan word. Ons graaf het diep, wat dan weer ons jere, hoekom sien ons nie die oes van siele wat nie beloof het. Want iet gesê, lig op die kop, kyk, look at the fields, they're white and they're ready for harvest. And Lord, I want to begin crying, young girls, that have been led astray in the wrong things. Lord, young men, that have been led astray in the wrong things. Middle group men, that are so busy with politics, that they don't know God. They busy with other things. Lord, young people, so, so weggetrek in the world, so they don't know God. Here, I'm going to cry to old men. I, 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 so in my heart, I know, Lord, let them not sit in the bank and wait for them to go to the world. But Lord, let them a bit of an strike. An strike for the young men. Because the old people have something to give the young generation if they would just realize. We're not going to get what you have unless you tell us what you've learned from Christ. Yeah. We're going to have to circle and struggle to get to where you are and we might not get to your level if you don't reach down and give us a hand. When last did you cry for young people? When last did you weep before God? Amen. And then the last thing I see that Elijah does is he prays. He asks for it. He asks. He just asks. He says, Lord, you are the God of heaven. I've done all of this according to what you've told me to do. I've done all of this not because I thought it was clever to do it, but because, Lord, you said I must do it. And God says to us in His Word, go out into all the world and preach the gospel. He says to us in His Word, He wants to save souls. He says to us in His Word that He's come to save that which is lost and break the works of the devil. I haven't done this according to my own will, but I've done it according to what you've asked me. And then He prays something which is so beautiful to me. He says, Lord, let the fire fall so that these people might know. And they might know that there is a God in the heavens, a Lord of Israel that I serve. That is not a false God that doesn't answer, but let them know. And you know why he does it? He doesn't do it for himself. He does it for the house that God has placed in him. Ons besiek ek aan asjeblief voor dit te kom, en terwijl hulle voor dit te kom, kijk asjeblief vir my nie, vir hulle nie. Amen. And I want to leave that with you. That's how God opened it to me. Elijah was busy with God's house. He asked for the fire to fall. And listen to what he said. He said that these people, this house you've placed me in, this nation you've made me a part of, that they might know that there is a God in heaven, the Lord Almighty, the God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, who we serve. 
and that's the call of my heart. Hierdie geslag moet herkend dat God regeer. There's got to be a testimony in this generation. Hierdie geslag nou moet al getuien is van Godse kracht, Godse glorie en Godse liefde opgaan en uitgaan. We can't keep looking back to Pastor Dani's generation and the generation before. Yeah. Hulle het gesaai, Amen. hulle het gemaai, hulle was in die oesveld geweest. They did what they were supposed to do. Yes. But we've got to start looking to another generation and say, Lord, here we are. Lord, I'm going to build the altar. It's the Evangelium. Jesus Christ, Him crucified, risen from the dead and coming back in power and glory. That's all we preach. We preach Jesus. Because it pleased God by the foolishness of preaching that men might be saved. The Bible says, not by our goodness, but by the Holy Spirit's power, by the revelation, by the Holy Spirit's working, by the blood of Jesus, by the testimony. They overcame them by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of their testimony. So because of that, we spread the Evangelium. Because of that, we place our offer on the altar. Here, I offer my time, I offer my trauma, I offer it for you. Here, I grab it deep. Because Lord, Lord, do something at the rise of this movement. Lord, bless Pastor Tony. Lord, bless Pastor Gerard. Lord, bless Kevin. Lord, we pray for the young people. When young people come into this church, Lord, do something in this place. Because we ask Him the same way Elijah did. We ask Him, Lord, hear my call and let your fire fall. Yes. You know, fire doesn't have to be advertised. When the fire of the Holy Spirit falls in this church, like God has promised us He's going to, we won't have to put an advert in the newspaper. We won't have to put up signs. We won't have to invite people. They will know something's happening in that church. Yes. And they Amen. will come. You never have to advertise the fire. Amen. But the fire never falls on an empty altar. So we need to ask, we need to push through, we need to get busy with this house. So you who are here, you're faithful. You who are here are members of Horizon Christian Community. The members that are listening on Facebook now, I want to ask you to get busy with this house. As ons die draai maak van die werk, so woensdag, donderdag, vrijdag, is wat ek het jou haak, Lord, what do you want to do in this church? Heere, jy het iets wat jy wil doen, sonder ogen. Ek voel het in my hart, jy wil iets doen. Heere, as ek die strijd ontlok is, deel met my in my hart, laat, laat, laat ek uit die pad uit. I'm, 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 I'm going to say honestly, I've said to God, Lord, if I'm a blockage, move me. Because it's more important that your spirit moves than I be in the way. If yeah. I'm a blockage, move me. Uh, but your spirit must flow. Yes. People must be saved. You must do something because you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. You have not changed. Uh, and you have made us promises in your word. You said you will pour out your spirit on all flesh. Our yes. sons and our daughters will prophesy. Our young men shall see visions, our old men shall dream dreams, and on our main man servants and woman servants, in other words, our young, your spirit will be poured out. You said, Lord, in your word that you will pour out water on the dry ground. Amen. In the thirsty wilderness you'll make rivers, you'll make a way where there seems to be no way. And Lord, I claim that tonight for this gemeente. Yes. I claim it for a rising gesin gemeente tonight. Amen. Because ons moet dier gaan. Because if, if God has promised it, He hasn't promised it to every other big church out there and not us, He's promised it to us, but we must start to desire it. Yes. Lord, we desire the Holy Spirit power in this church. We desire you to save souls here. But dear, ek was hier ingevoeg en ek is bekommer om hierdie huis en wat jy wil verrug en hierdie huis. Want God wil iets verrug en hierdie huis. En ek wil deel daarvan wees. Amen. As ons dit los, what happens to a man when he's driving a horse? When he's riding a horse? As long as he's holding the reins, and as long as his legs are in those stirrups, he's holding, but jy hou die perk vast met jou bede, and you hold to steer, the minute a man makes himself go slap on the horse and let go of the reins, what happens? One of two things happens, if the horse is very well trained, it stops moving forward. As I stop, so, my reiter will let it stop, but I no slap. Or he's going to fall off. Yeah. Amen. And in both of those cases, the journey forward has stopped because the man who's riding is not slow. Yeah. And you were once moving towards God, what, what God wanted. But as you can learn, it's you know, can learn, and you know, you can go forward to the belief. And it's the same with us. If we let go of what God wants to do in this church, as we also can slow forward and can learn. If we come in every service and just expect that Pastor Dani is like a dear girl. Pas toe daar nie moet die sal wind draan, pas toe Gerard moet ons leie die liedies. As ons dit gaan doen, vertrou ons op twee mense. Ons vertrou op twee mense. Weet jy wat gebeur? Dan sien God die twee mense. En ons staan terug in wonder van, hoe kom ek 
Jesus, Amen. Die mag een wonderlijke werking en hij uh, veilig. 